Hello. When the sun shone on the face of Tor Squad leader and his men, that righteous sentence was written in the sky. His truth is marching on. And so, Tor Squad leader and his men began their humble crusade up the river. A crusade of equality. A crusade of acceptance. And on the night before they raided Bad Teeth, they rested in silence beneath the broom tree. At sundown, as he knelt, Tor Squad leader wiped blood from his brow and beckoned his men. Stay here. Keep watch with me. Be vigilant tonight. Those fearless men tore savage with his fists. And the rest of the Tor Squad, loyal heirs, all defended Tor Squad leader, for they were extremely humble. And there they fought. And they slaughtered the enemy. There was no ambiguity in this. It was just an absolute. Welcome back to Kenshi. We've been training like every day. Glory. Glory, hallelujah. Today we begin our crusade against Bad Teeth, one of the first cities of the Holy Nation to the south. I think we're ready. We've been training a lot. We've been doing nothing but lifting weights for the last three weeks and uh, raiding the city occasionally. Now I think we're ready to just conquer it. We can take on several patrols at once. Look at the They're already healing themselves. Oh, this is going to be an absolute... Well, let's just see the numbers. Look at how strong the Tor Squad is. Maybe not completely one-sided, and the Holy Nation may have unlimited manpower. But look at the kicks. Torsion is a martial arts god now. Jesus Christ, absolutely just astounding what's happening here. Look, there goes Tor Strange. You're not even supposed to be fighting with that. Well, regardless, regardless, it looks like one went down. Beep went down. We might need to go back and heal up briefly. Yes, good job, Tor Explosion. Look at how large Tor Explosion is after all of that weightlifting and plastic surgery. Look, there goes a leg. Oh, absolutely mid tranquil. Tranquil are we. We bought more beds so the whole tour squad can rest. I'd say we're now just about ready to attack the city. There it goes. There it goes. The just absolutely awful. Okay, tour squad. Let's see some action. Oh Jesus, look at all those paladins. See, I'm gonna show you what the tour squad can do now. Here's a whole group of paladins. Look at all that green. A lot of red too. Yeah, but the tour squad still very Oh my god, we just got hit pretty bad, but this was a surprisingly large group of paladins, after all. Uh, okay, they're, they're gonna win this just barely, but... We're strong, but we're not that strong yet. We could totally win this. Come on, Tor Explosion, Tor Explode! Show the world what you're made of! Oh god, for god's sake, do it! Hit them! Okay, so maybe we can't beat Inquisitors yet, but still. Look at how good the Tor Squad is now. They're making everyone else like them. Okay, here we go. You will become as we are. Here we meet our foes at the city gates. Uh, keep going. Don't stop. All right, Tor Squad. Show them who's boss. Don't let the, uh... Don't let the crossbows deter you. There are an awful lot of crossbows in this city, aren't there? Oh, there's another gate? I didn't even know that this gate was... ...real. Okay. Well, regardless, the best way to fight this city is just by, uh, attacking it one gate at a time. Don't bite off the whole thing, that's too much. So we'll do it like this. Many of the squad members, you'll notice, have May 2 weapons now. They're very, uh, well-armed. Really too well-armed, they should be armed with weaker weapons while they still level, but I... Uh, don't... I uh, don't do that. So here we go. Great job, everyone. Loving the teamwork. Okay, we'll come in through the postern gate of the city. Very subversive to come through this way. You see, this guy can't really do very much to us. He's just... If you had one of these skeleton limbs, you would be much stronger. But no, you didn't believe in that. You didn't trust science. Okay, we'll also attack their citizens because they're completely bad. Look, we've already disabled half of the city and they don't even know that we're here. Sleuth will be our guide these days. Go, Tor Squad. Like the Greeks in Troy. Ah, excellent. Man, look at them in combat. They're so badass. You know, the Holy Nation- well, Tor Squad later, why are you just standing there, man? There we go. Great stuff, everyone. Great stuff. Love the teamwork and helping after the fights, that's good. God, these guys look like that they did failed breakdancing moves. That's how they died. Right, the one that we're looking for, not this guy, we're gonna, you know, slowly weaken them as we go. Be careful not to get your asses kicked. 
Okay, here comes a rather large group of them. This isn't a great fight. Let's go inside of this building. Generally, they're weaker inside because they tend to wield larger weapons. Oh, what? You're just gonna stay out? Alright, whatever. Some of them just decide not to come inside. A lot of them wield heavy weapons, though, so those are weaker inside. That's generally better for us. See, we're getting more green in here, so... A great way to conquer a city is by luring everyone indoors. God damn, look at that Tor Savage is just absolutely slaying in here. God, martial arts is very badass. Very badass. Okay, everyone, keep regrouping. I don't want anybody to go off lone wolf it. It's not safe. Can we go help out Tor's security? It looks like he was downed. One of his limbs was murdered. There we go, Tor's explosion. He needs to stay outside. He is a heavy weapon user. Also happens to be a stand user. Okay, we did a good job this run into the city. Let's just heal each other up. Let's get somewhere safe. Every to Go somewhere safe, Tor Squad. That's good. Good job, Tor Squad. Okay, this is great. We've pretty much taken over the city. No new patrols have come in. There's maybe three guys left in here. Mostly they just came to us. Yeah, okay, here come a few more out from the prisoner areas. Several other paladins to take out. Most of them are injured, though. You'll notice that there's a lot of guys on the ground who are just missing something. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we've secured the bar now. Almost no one is alive in there anymore. Everybody's unconscious. Now, the last major thing to do is we just have to draw out the High Inquisitor of this town. So let's see if we can find him. Absolutely just no one in here. This is just a regular paladin crawling around on the ground. Who is this? Another one. More paladins. Okay, now we just set all of the captives free. Now you fight for us. And we've really done a number on this city, but the High Inquisitor is nowhere to be seen. Okay, let's go to a different Holy Nation city. <laughs> we'll come back later. Okay, we've got all of our people in our arms. Let's get out of here. We'll come back later when your Inquisitor is around. Alright, uh, plan B. Let's start at Stack. We'll conquer that city instead. Eventually, we'll circle back around. Okay, everyone, new crusade. Okay, we'll attack Stack, to, uh, instead. Let's just go straight to the Inquisitor this time. Okay, so I stand corrected. We can't take over a city yet because all of the Inquisitors have either just despawned from the cities or, um, or we're far too weak to fight ten Inquisitors at once yet. Something that even Torsolo struggled at, so we'll just keep working along the outskirts. It's time to set the captives free. Okay, now we have a, a band of loyal followers, apparently. Escaped captives who want to join us. Our crusade grows. Now we just attack a few more camps and set other people free here. It's nice, Tor Stealth uh, gets out all of the prisoners while the rest of the squad does the fighting. He increases the level of subversion while everyone else works on, you know, the fight, the violence and the fighting and the, ac the rebellion itself. Well, there's only one way I can really think of just eliminating these high overseers. There's not many other choices here. We'll go about it the Breaking Bad Walter White way. All right, that is a pool of acid. Let's uh, now put him down in the- Oh my god, that's even better than I thought it would be. Okay, come on, just don't bounce this time. Don't bounce. Or if you do bounce, okay, at least bounce into the- Why would you d keep doing that? All right, let's give this a couple more tries. There we go, Tor Struggle, you and your guy, okay. This is how we gotta get rid of all the high overseers. It's okay, everyone. You know, standing in the rain will make you stronger like this. Like a sauna. Actually, come to think of it, Beep is resistant to the acid. We could just have Beep go into the water with them. There we go. Alright, that one's, uh, I think that one's just about done. Everybody, you know, everybody else go back to dry land. Beep will handle this. That's the reason we have a hiver here. Whatever happens, I'd call that an outrageous success. Well, it's now time to properly assault Stack. We have a bunch of camp beds outside and we're ready to just rejuvenate continuously until we've worn down the city and kidnapped the Inquisitor. The city is falling clearly and we make our way in deeper. Time to go in for the, uh, for the, the Grand Inquisitor. You know what, I have a better idea though. Instead of going through all of that, Tor Stealth, I have a plan for you. It's getting to be nighttime. Let's just hide you out here in the back for a few minutes. Yeah, there we go. Now you're in the shadows. I bet you that we can nab whoever's left with this. Yeah, there's High Inquisitor Seto. Watch this. This should be interesting or not interesting at all. Let's just... Okay, goodbye, High Inquisitor Seto. That's how overpowered... You know, I can't believe I never used assassination in this game up until this point. Rather than go through all of that fighting, Tor Stealth is all is quite literally all that we need. And there's all of his ridiculously overpowered items and weapons. 
Let's take those too. Yep, all that. That should uh, that should pretty much turn over stack to the shacks. Mind you, Tor Stealth has 80 assassination now. He he deserves that. Okay, here we go. Turn him into the police. 40,000 cats, not too bad. All right, looks like the shacks have taken this place over. All, all that for one, one measly assassination. Can we do that at Blister Hill too? All right, let's find out. You know, we don't have the military. We are strong. We don't have the military strength quite yet to, uh... Yeah, look, now the Holy Nation and the Shack are fighting too. Wow, we've started a new war, or like we've heated up this zone. This could be awesome. Okay, let's just go straight to Blister Hill. I want to see if we could take down Holy Lord with a, an assassination. And so the Tor Squad went down that road. Their crusade unexpectedly cut short. There it is. Blister Hill. I'm just gonna leave everybody out here while Tor Stealth goes in. Let's keep taking him out. Okay, here's where we go for it. Uh, it's... It may be the middle of the day, but Holy Lord Phoenix is alone. We have a 61% chance of... If we, if we... If we just do this... Oh my god, really? This... Oh uh, no, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll back off for a minute. I'll back off. Alright. Show me the throne room. There... There he is again. Exactly the same spot. Oh, okay, no, I nudged him. And he's standing... He's staring in the opposite direction. Let's just try that again. And, oh god, it worked. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe that. You know how much crap I've gone through with this guy? <laughs> Alright, well, this is going to be somebody's weapon. Alright, you're mine. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> well, there goes our crusade. <laughs> you're gonna be Holy Lord Phoenix, baby. Holy Lord Phoenix is gonna be you. Okay, great, now we got Holy Lord Phoenix dressed up in some other kind of armor. That's incredible. The Lord of the, probably the... Most difficult faction to fight in the game. Now just kidnapped because no one was guarding him at his throne and he was staring at his throne. But it's okay, you know, that's how they won the Battle of Jericho. It's a true story. True story. Tor Stealth, you are officially a unit. This is... No man should have this kind of power. Look at the striations in this guy's musculature. That He's one of the toughest NPCs in the game. I don't want you to get that wrong. Has very high stats, and he's guarded by very strong people, so. Well, there we go. Okay, the Sheks are like, hey, that's the Holy Lord Phoenix. How'd you do that? Great. Uh, we're gonna put him into the... Where's the cops? Are you the cops? Uh, you must be the cops. Yep, that's... that's Phoenix. All right, uh... Okay, we have your worst of enemies. Why are you just gonna put this guy in jail? Speak to Esther, she'll... She, uh... All right, Shek Kingdom are now our allies, and we're gonna speak to Estada, the stone golem. Let's have a word with him, you know? Tor Squad leader. All right, I'm gonna be smited. Okay, Sheks are now our allies. Blister Hill's probably just gone. We have 160,000 cats. Where's Tor Science? Tor Science is dressed up like Holy Lord Phoenix. Can't get much better than this. Blister Hill is suddenly destroyed. Oh, wait a minute. I know a guy who can get us hooked up even better. It's gonna take a lot of swimming, but we will get there. And so the Tor Squad swam. Where did they go, you ask? Well, there was a very special person for them to meet. There it is, off in the distance. You can see the skeletons making their way to this place under the water. Occasionally they do come up. We'll see them here. Yeah, there's three or so of them. All right, here we are, washed up, ready to trade with the, uh, the Armor King. One of the best NPCs, really one of the funniest NPCs. Okay, I think Tor Security needs better armor. I don't like his current armor. We'll make him into some sort of samurai. Yeah, that's much better. He's gonna wear the Tor Solo armor. And you'll get this thing as well. There it is, Tor Security looking way more badass now. Now, this man is very rich. Fortunately, that's enough to completely rearmor our entire squad now. Still, there remains to me one challenge. I wish to show that we can be splendid ninja, even if we don't have ninjutsu or genjutsu. So from now on, or at least for a while, the Tor Squad will only train in stealth. This will be all that we do. We're also going to, as much as possible, fight unarmed so that we can all... If we lose our weapons, we won't be completely, uh, ruined. It's going to severely nerf us for a little while, but then after that, uh, it'll make us all super powerful in case if we ever lose our weapons. Which, mind you, happens a lot. Okay, everyone, from now on we fight unarmed and we only sneak. This way we can run like Naruto when we're stronger. N see, they'll never see us, these hungry- okay, now maybe they will. Look! Look at how- See, look at what Tor Savage and Tor- and uh, Torsion can do in fight. I wish everybody could do that, because then you'd have a big team of- 
like Rock Lee or Goku or or Naruto or something would easily be much cooler. We need to get better at stealth. There's no doubt about it. Don't question it. All right, let's see how we deal with the gorilla in unarmed com- some of us in unarmed combat. Not all of us. We don't all need to be. I just don't have the room to store those weapons. Okay, great. We're doing just fine. Doing great, Tor Squad. Looking very sneaky in the middle of this village of hivers who all can see you. Just ignore those arrows uh, around your bodies. No one can see you. I don't really care if they're all good at stealth. I just want them all to be able to run like Naruto together. Look at how fast the stealth is going. Jesus Christ. That's at level 39 right here. All you have to do is just randomly walk around the hive. Oh God, look at that. That is just stupid. Well, here's another stat tree you can pretty easily just cheese. Look, Torsion and Tor Strange are already able to run like Naruto. We'll be running like Naruto in no time. Okay, let's see how we fare in uh, martial arts combat. Almost everyone is crap at this. Um, see, what I'm optimistic about is just the fact that um, as you get better in Kenshi, you have to keep coming back to these earlier areas because you find that there's things you've neglected. But look at how much damage Torsion and Tor Savage can do with their martial- Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's- like, martial arts is a very good skill just to have for indoor combat later on. Like, if you get jailed or something, it's very nice to have that. I think we're gonna go ahead, stay back in these earlier areas for a little while. And just train this for a bit until we're all doing flying kicks or something. They totally sold my house. I own that house. What do they do? Somebody just put crap all over my house. Oh, wait, I just realized that I had to reset all the game NPCs because everyone accidentally doubled. Oh, well, um, <laughs> all right, it's time to fight some slavers. No real reason, but just, uh, well, if they're not training martial arts, it'll at least get them better at blocking and dodging. These are also essential skills. Look, oh god, Tor's sword. Very shameful in this fight, are we? My god, look at what Tor Savage and Tor- Tor Savage and Torsion easily have the best animations in this squad. Gotta get everybody up to that level. Yeah, let's get everybody there. Jesus, that's so nice. Oh god. Okay, beating real live Shex. Wow. Never thought we'd have it in us, but that's great. Majestic. Nice. All right, Kral's chosen are down. And oh, okay, there's mo there's a lot more of them. Wow. Well, they're no match for the tour squad. We knew that though. Okay, we found a guy named Flying Bull worth 30,000 cats. Let's just grab him. It must be a boss or something. Not even one I was honestly aware of. Oh, this is great. Everybody gets a crusader hat for later on. Awesome. Love it. Yeah. Okay, now we turn this guy in. And that should be another 30,000 cats. Okay, and now with the whole squad donning these sort of, like, crusader hoods. <laughs> they all look like Knights Templar. Except just far, far worse. Okay. Cr crusade of... A crusade of equity. We make our way to the berserker village. Alright, uh, there's not very many berserkers here, so... I think this guy just kind of sits in his house when you come there, too. Yeah, this is the Berserker guy. Um, there he is, Ghost of the Berserkers. 10,000 cats, he's been causing trouble out here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get him. Here we go, these people hit like a truck, but, uh, fortunately we just have more people and that's what you need here. So, yeah, there he goes, Ghost. Not such a problem, kind of lazy. He just seems to be sitting at his house. I don't know why they had a problem with him. His groups were kind of a nuisance, though. Well, that just about brings our adventure to an end for today. Oh, crap. Uh, whoops, this guy was wanted by the Holy Nation. Uh, never mind, yeah, you could go. Not really too many- oh, god. We'll see what happens to him. I'm gonna run right now, uh, doesn't matter. I think we're in pretty good with the Shek Kingdom. We'll leave it there. We clearly are, uh, on the, the same team now. And I'd say we've improved a lot. We can almost fight an entire nation now. Still a ways to go, but we can get through- through subversion and sleuth for now. What next? Well, only Tor Squad leader knows, and that's for his mind and not ours. I think we'll leave it there for today. As always, a heartfelt thanks to my patrons. You are the chain mail upon my head, and I hold you in my heart at all times. Thank you. More Tor Squad to come soon. As always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Goodbye now.